I shall start where I feel my story begins. I was born at Brackish Pond, Bermuda, on a farm belonging to Mr. Charles Minus. Mary Prince is a woman who lived just under 200 years ago. She's a woman of passion, a woman of power, a woman of spirit, a woman who helped change the world. So Mary Prince was an author. She was a freedom fighter. She was somebody who had the courage when most women would never do anything like this to petition parliament for freedom. So she is a woman whose words were also put into a book. She had the courage to do that. And the reason why that's really important is that she was the first African heritage woman in Britain to actually share her story of the horrors of enslavement at that time. So she was a woman, I would say, of amazing courage and many, many firsts. The, the script and the play itself um, are 90% her words. Uh, so, um, kind of a retelling of what she published uh, all those many years ago uh, in England and just putting them to um, dance and movement and different actions and uh, yeah just telling her story in an hour um, it's it really has been been amazing I'm, I'm I feel very blessed to to be able to do this and take on her essence as it were okay well sold is a ritualistic performance. It incorporates dance, song, and drumming. And the African theatrical style is always non-compartmentalized, not like Western theater where you've got dance over there and drumming over there. It's a whole round. You'll get the dance, you'll get the voice, you'll get the drumming. The drumming in Soul has got two parts. It's actually the ancestors' voices. So the voice from the ancestors connects Mary Prince in the diaspora to our ancestral roots. And we like to say it's the umbilical cord from the past to the present, the heritage what seeps through her veins from yesterday into today. It's a style which is authentic, it's also classical, and yet it's very contemporary. A lot of people would actually see it as a new form, but it's a very, very old form dated in the richness of African theater. So Mary Prince brings all of that to life.